Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Somic. In this video, I will be showing you how can we encrypt uh, and decrypt any file using a PGP encryption key. So we have few basic steps for encrypting and decrypting any file. So here are the steps. First we will need to create a self-signed certificate. Then we will use that particular certificate to create a create and export a PGP key, which will be in the format of .asc. Now we will import that .asc file again to create a trusted CA certificate. We will go through in details when we show you the demo here. Um, now uh, for this uh, demo purpose, I uh, will create two endpoints. One will encrypt the file, another will decrypt the file which will be encrypted so here are the steps uh, I won't go much through the steps I will directly show you in the demo how we achieve this so here uh, we'll first go to the certificates and create the self sign certificate KV underscore demo you can fill it this fill up this form according to your requirement now to generate the certificate we need to provide a private key password so this self -sign certificate got created uh, we'll use this to export the PGP key go to open PGP select the .tsc format and provide the private key password which we use to create the certificate it's been created now now we'll use that dot esc key the pgp key to create a trusted ca certificate we need to select this test um, generate trusted ca certificate from open pgp key select the key the key which got created open you can again fill up as per your requirement I'm giving it kv underscore pgp Port is done. So this is the certificate. Now we'll be creating two endpoints. One will encrypt the file, and another will decrypt it. So I'm selecting a generic HTTP clone and activate. The server address is where I'm planning to send the file, the encrypted file. This is the login credentials. Creating another which will receive the file and decrypt it.
now the next part is to attach the CA certificate and the self sign certificate which we have created with this endpoint first uh, I'll do it for the encryption endpoint which will encrypt the file go to my mailbox packaging on PGP so I'm selecting here encrypt inbound which will uh, encrypt the file now to select the trusted CA certificate which I created using the open PGP key select now I also need to provide a local listener certificate you can provide any self-signed certificate for this I'm giving the one which I've created just now to provide the corresponding uh, private key password And the same needs to be performed for the partners also. Now we are almost done with the encrypting endpoint and just configure the decrypting endpoint now. Go to packaging. Here we have to select decrypt and select the same open PGP key. Now here one thing while decryption select the those that the certificate only which created the dot .esc file the open pgp key while encryption you can select any of them but while decryption make sure you select this particular self sign certificate only So we are almost done here now. Now in this send endpoint, it will when you run this script, it will pick this file from this directory MFT outpost directory, encrypt it, and send this to this uh, Elantra machine. Now I can show you the file. Is. It's a simple file which contains this hello text. Now let me execute it. So it's been executed successfully. The file is gone. Here, if I refresh it, you can see a file was generated. If I go view and edit, you can see there now uh, encrypted file got generated. Now I'll execute the decrypt command, which will pick this encrypted file from here and drop into MFT inbox this data files MFT inbox this directory this is an old file I'm just deleting this so let me execute it so it's been executed file is gone from here here can see a new file got generated if I open it this is the hello text this is the original file which we sent for encryption so we can get all the details of the procedure how it is done in the logs it's given everything so these are the few basic steps we need to follow 
to encrypt this is just a I mean like uh, uh, just a simple follow follow chart um, if you are developing on top of this it will be little, it will get a little complex and more stuff should get included this is just a common flow to understand how this works so with this we have come to an end of this video we would love to hear from you you can drop us a mail at support videos at the informatica.com you can also follow us at twitter.com slash support thank you